Hey everybody, this is John with the Christian Outreach Office, and I just want to uh, recap a little bit of what we talked about during the harvest section of our Be a Disciple engagement. You know, Jesus calls us clearly in Matthew 28 to go and make disciples of all nations, and that's not just for a select few. That call to go and make disciples is a universal call. But before we can go out and make disciples, of course, we have to be a disciple. And that's what this has been all about, getting us into a relationship with God where we're following Him and sharing in the work of building the church. Now, there's a lot of people who go forth to try to build the church in different ways, but I think a key element that's going to make you successful and give you the, the, the push that you need to really bring about the change in the lives of people that you love and the people that you work with is whether or not your life is surrendered to the power of the Holy Spirit. See, when we surrender our lives to the Holy Spirit, He produces fruits in within us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. These are the fruits that the world finds attractive. These are the things that the world is looking for. You know, they may not necessarily be looking for the answer in Jesus, but they are looking for peace. They are looking for joy and they are looking for love. And when we show them these fruits active in our life, they're going to ask us, where do they come from? You know, so we're, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we can really be a living witness and make the gospel attractive through our witness first and then seal the deal with our sharing of the gospel, which is also needing to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to have its full impact. You know, Jesus always told his apostles when they went out, don't worry about what you're going to say because in those moments, the Holy Spirit will give you the words. And that's good advice for us. Sometimes we can get trip over our own desire to be cool or to really nail that and say it in such a powerful way. And you don't have to be profound. You just need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and go out and genuinely want to lead other people to Christ. Now that means first and foremost that we are working on our own discipleship. We can't lead people to where we're not already going. So if we really want to lead, we first have to be a follower. We have to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and we have to be sold out to the fact that the gospel is worthy of our greatest effort. You know, Jesus says, be not afraid. Just go forth and produce a fruitful harvest. And if we go forth with the Holy Spirit on our side and in our hearts, there's no way that God can do anything but cause great success through our efforts and bring about the salvation of many people. So thank you for being a part of Be a Disciple. Thank you for following Christ every day in your life. And may as you go forth, God produce a fruitful harvest through your efforts. God bless.